how heartland precincts get consensus on upgrading common areas and how these works will be funded. These are among concerns raised as Parliament amended the law to make it easier for such upgrading works to be approved. Geraldine Yap with this report. 75%. That's the new magic number. A reprieve for decades-old heartland shops hoping to revitalise their commercial areas and ring in more sales. It's a big step down from the previous 100% approval needed for upgrading works under the Revitalisation of Shops or ROS scheme. As members would be aware, the key basis for this review is to avoid a situation where a single shop owner can exercise what is effectively a veto and deny the rest of the opportunity to upgrade, even if they were all supportive. MPs have welcomed the move, but they're also concerned how it'll affect shop owners who don't approve the upgrading. If the upgrading of the common area do not benef benefit them, for example, if the Merchants Association wish to provide a roof shelter or landscaping for the town centre area to make the place more attractive to shoppers, these shop owners at the fringe are unlikely to support the upgrading works. So may I ask the Minister whether the shops located at the fringe of town centre, can they be excluded from being considered part of the precinct? Can HDB consider excluding the no response from the vote? if more than 70% of the shop owners have responded. Now, in the long run, the upgrading of the area has huge implications to the vitality of the businesses and the livelihoods of the people employed by the heartland merchants. By not counting non-responses, we can put in the right incentives for all the owners to respond and we're not depriving the owners of their voice. But Ms Sim says not counting non-responsive shop owners would be the same as lowering the threshold for a successful poll. At the same time, we have to strike a reasonable balance with the consideration that some individual shop owners might not support upgrading for their own reasons. We have hence taken a leaf from other upgrading programs such as the Home Improvement Program where the threshold of 75% has come to be widely accepted. We believe this would be a reasonable threshold for ROS to move towards. How the upgrading costs would be shared was also top of mind. Common areas are under the ownership of the HDB. It follows logically that any capital expenditure incurred on common areas should be the responsibility of the HDB as well. This is similar to retail malls owned by commercial landlords who may undertake upgrading works and asset enhancement initiatives or AEIs to ensure that the mall is in good condition and continues to be attractive to shoppers. Ms Sim says shop owners will be notified of the overall costs and their share of the bill before their approval is sought for the proposed upgrading works. And if actual costs are more than initial estimates, she says HDB will work with stakeholders on the best course of action. This may include reviewing the range of the proposed works.